Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, let's talk about the man himself, Roman Chalatito Gonzalez, or as we affectionately call him here on this channel, The Real TBE. Now, Roman Gonzalez's latest news on him is that uh, he has finally hired a trainer. They've gotten that uh, confirmed. They've gotten that squared away, um, and he's told the Nicaraguan uh, you know, press that his new trainer is uh, Gustavo Herrera. It comes in the form of Gustavo Herrera, a guy that he actually has some familiarity with as Herrera was, um, you know, he worked with Roman Gonzalez in the early stages of his career alongside, uh, you know, his dad and uh, Alex Arguello. So I think this is a good for him because, you know, Roman Gonzalez, you know, there was a lot of guys, there was a lot of different trainers thrown out there. A lot of different names thrown out there, but this is a guy in, in Herrera who, you know, he knew he knows Roman Gonzalez. He worked with him early in his career, and he knows and, and saw the evolution of Roman Gonzalez coming into boxing. So, which means that there's familiarity there, which means that he's going to know that Roman Gonzalez has to fight his style to win fights. He can't be going in there being a shy, timid boxer who picks the shots. That's not who Roman Gonzalez is. That's not him by nature, and it's not going to be. It's not going to be him now. So. With that being said, I think it's a good hire. Um, it was also confirmed that he has no intention of dropping down to 112 pounds. So for those of you guys who have been clamoring for Roman Gonzalez to fight maybe a Donnie Nietes type of, of opponent, uh, that's um, that's not going to happen either right now at the current moment. So uh, he'll be staying at 115, which I think makes sense for him because, you know, you got, you're, you're going to have Rong Vasai and Estrada fighting each other. Um, they're already tied up. Um, Kelly Afai, that fight's probably not going to happen right away. So, you know, he'll be hanging around. And then all of a sudden, you know, Inouye with him gone, that frees up a title that Roman Gonzalez could potentially pick up. So the landscape is looking good for him. You know, I think he has the Afai fight and then he has the vacant belt. So he has, you know, his first fight in 2018 to, you know, probably just – um maybe take a tuna fight or, or a guy that's uh, not too good or not a top level opponent and uh, work, work, work his way back in, man, because if uh, he can get his confidence back, he's still a dangerous fighter at the weight. He's still a top five fighter in the weight class. One of the best weight classes in boxing. And um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just happy that they finally got this trainer thing uh, squared away because it seemed to linger on and there were names being reported here and there. And the fact that it's not just any random guy, but a guy that works with Roman Gonzalez early in his career and knows him, and there's familiarity there, um, I think that's great. I think that's that's the kind of that's the kind of trainer you'd want in his corner because he knows him. Um, and I'm I'm glad that they finally made a decision. And you know, it's re it was also reported that they're going to be flying to Japan next week to meet with uh, Mr. Honda of Tekken Promotions, and that's where they will determine um, and and look at uh, you know his next opponents for uh, 2018. So looks like things are moving for Roman Gonzalez. Things are clearing up. Things are uh, picking up steam. And we're going to get closer and closer to knowing uh, what's going to be going on with his career because uh, that, that that was my main my, my, my main concern when I made my video a couple of weeks ago where I was saying he should retire. It was that things weren't moving. You know, uh, it seemed to be no urgency, no clarity from his camp. And I think that's the one thing I wanted to see. So now that we have that going, now that that's picking up steam, um, and now that Anoye has ultimately, ultimately ultimately left the division, it's it's definitely made uh, things seem a little bit more um, positive as far as the outlook of the division for Roman Gonzalez. So hopefully uh, he get he, he uh, can get a good fight, decent opponent. You know, I've heard uh, maybe Luis Concepcion could be a guy they look at. But other than that, um, you know, it's just good to hear that he he hired somebody he's familiar with as his trainer, and I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, you know, whatever is left in the tank, you know, hopefully it's something, hopefully there is something left in the tank. Cause I think there is, um, and they can become, become a world uh, champion again, a title holder, and then maybe get some confidence and go into a big fight. And who knows, man, you know, I think he, I think, I think he, he still has enough dog in him to, to grind out some pretty impressive things in his career. So we'll see what happens, man. Roman Gonzalez is, 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 he's a great fighter, man. So that's what it is. Roman Gonzalez hires Gustavo Herrera. Um, as his trainer, and uh, they'll be looking at opponents really soon for his April fight in 2018. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Show your boy BT some love 
on the YouTube. Show me some love on the Instagram at True School Sports. Like I always say in every video, my name is Brendan Taylor. You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take, take care, guys.